Okay, so the guys at Through Night have sent me this little item. This one I was expecting when I got the last one. Um, I don't know if there was a stock problem or what, but uh, they they said that I was going to get this one, but uh, it didn't arrive. And I've been really looking forward to this. This is the TH20, uh, TH30, uh, updating the previous TH20. Um, it's headlight, and let's take a look. Here, got the USB charger because this is a rechargeable one, and it's got the three straps one round the head and one over, um, as opposed to the single round the head one that the TH20 had. Um, so, let's just take a quick look in the box, see what we get. Usually, they send some pretty good bits and pieces. Now on this one you get a belt clip or a pocket clip whatever you like to call it and that's because you can take this out of the, this rubber mounting and just stick it in your pocket, your top pocket which is a brilliant idea. You get an extra mount, two seals and a USB cover seal and your instructions your, your guarantee card and this is guaranteed for two years um, against manufacturer um, you know failure or anything like that your usual blurb right let's just take this out of here for a second just twists out it's quite a tight fit or well, I suppose it's got to be so that it doesn't slip around take it apart Aircraft grade T6 aluminium. There's a nice seal around there. This is the 3100 milliamp hour uh, 18650 IMR battery. Um, it's 3.6 volts. And they do say if you put an alternative battery in, make sure it has a discharge rate of uh, 10 amps or more if you want to use this on the turbo mode which is a pretty high mode um, anyway sh shoves in there it does also come apart from this end if you ever needed to again seal on that end and it's when you screw it back up it's nice and positive and again it's I like the knurling it's nice it's, it feels robust it's quite heavy but I, I quite like that, it feels sort of quality. You've got your USB port there, um, which you can use on, you can have it um, on and charge, although you can only use uh, certain modes. Let's uh, oh, stick this back in. Oh, what I was going to show you the um, belt clip, let's clip it on there. And uh, away you go, stick it in your top pocket, and you've got uh, a nice little sort of, I don't know what you'd call it, you know, it's just for if you were cycling or you know, if you're a postman or something like that and you needed to see your way around in the, the dimness. Good idea. Personally, I shall be just using it as a head torch. I love the TH20, which I use all the time. Um, but this is going to be even better because of the, the rechargeable nature. Stick it back in. It doesn't matter which way round it goes. You can have it either way. There might be a preference for some people. I don't know. And the adjustment is sim simply turning it in the um, mounting. Now it seems to go better one way than the other. I don't quite know why. Um, there you go. It does. So, operation. If you can see that that is blue in there. Yep, you can. That means it's fully charged. Um, if it starts flashing red, that needs charging. Um, it will be red whilst it's charging. And the only time you've got to worry is if it goes purple. If it turns purple, it means there's something wrong and you've got to send it back. 
but uh, touch wood, I've never had that uh, happen yet. So let's go through the modes. I'll see if I can just. You can see there it comes up. That's just your SOS mode. Um, I just want to show. I don't want to blind the camera, but it has got. If I can find it. Ah, there we go. Just hold it on. You see that? That's actually firefly mode. Very, very dim. Perfect uh, for reading at night in the dark, but uh, very dim. Then you switch on, you get. Now then, what do they call this one? This is low. You get medium low. Then medium. And then high. And that is really, really bright. What we'll do, we'll uh, take it outside in a minute and have a little look. And it switches back on at whatever you turned it off at apart from the turbo mode or firefly so any of the, the modes in between the uh, low medium low medium or high it will switch on at that so that's what it was off at that's what it switched on at let's go uh, right, that's high so we switch it off switch it back on and that comes on at high again so Right, it uses, um, what does it use, uh, let's have a little look through the uh, blurb, it's got 155 metre maximum distance which personally I won't be using but I dare say there will be people that uh, would like to use that, it's got 6, uh, 6550 CD maximum. Uh, that's the intensity. It's impact resistant to one and a half meters, so hopefully, if you do drop it, let's make sure it's under one and a half meters and it should survive. Um, output let's see if the runtime on the SOS mode you get 305 minutes and that's at 645 lumens. Uh, a Firefly, you get 32 days because that's only half a lumen, that's really, really dim. 60 hours on low at 25 lumens, 14 hours. At medium low on 130 lumens and medium low isn't a new thing for them this is I don't think they've done anything with medium low before um, medium five hours 352 lumens high 1275 lumens you get 90 minutes now the turbo mode I'm not exactly sure um, what this means I, I will take a guess because they say don't use the turbo mode um, for very long so I'm, it says one and a half minutes plus 103 minutes so I'm guessing they mean you can use it for one and a half minutes uh, a sort of maximum really but you can do it for a maximum of 103 minutes sort of thing so in in 1.5 minute slots one and a half minute slots I don't know I'm guessing that's all I can imagine um, so that's about it I think. I think we ought to take it outside and have a little look, see what it does. So let's get it on the head and go and have a little look. Okay, so we're outside. Um, can't really see an awful lot and it's not switched on yet but you can see the basically the brick wall that's been lit up by the lights from the house. If we turn this on I'm not sure what mode that is. But as you can see, it goes up pretty, pretty bright. I'm not sure if that's turbo mode. Let's see. Got... And there's your SOS mode. So, yes, I guess that last one was so let's turn that off and now that's firefly which is pretty well you can see it's just 
enough it lights up and then just gets brighter and brighter and brighter until we get to SOS mode so we can get it come on and I think that's if you were I won't be using that obviously for uh, showing because that's just if we go down to the ground it's just so bright I won't be needing that in fact it doesn't seem to be doing the brightness justice on the camera looking actually in real life looks a lot lot uh, brighter but if you're hiking cycling you know you wanted to really see where you were going absolutely perfect so I really like that I'm really looking forward to uh, getting to use it not that I'm looking forward to the bad weather and the dark but there we go I'll just go back inside and we'll have a, a little look at the specs for the geeks Okay, back inside. I was pretty impressed with that in the dark. Let's have a bit more of a look around it. It's got a, like an orange peel reflector. The TH30, there's the port. Compliancy. New button, that's nice. I'm, the only thing, I'm surprised they didn't supply a new one of those because that's rubber. Uh, and obviously you're going to be using that quite a bit but obviously they're confident that it's not going to wear out um, that everything is you know, decent quality um, I don't think any of it's going to break in a hurry anyway for the geeks let's uh, run you through a few bits and pieces it's their first rechargeable headlamp um, it uses the Cree XHP 70.2 LED with a lifespan of 20 years, so they reckon. Um, it has a working voltage of 2.7 volts to 4.2 volts. It uses the 18650 IMR battery of 3100 milliamp hours. Uh, obviously you can change that, but as long as it must be the, uh, the IMR battery. Um, beam distance of 155 meters. It's waterproof to IPX8 standard, which is 2 metres. It weighs 123 grams without the battery. It's 107 millimetres long. It has a 28.5 millimetre bezel. And the tube diameter is 24 millimetres. So, I hope that just about covers everything. I'm really looking forward to using this. Um, although I'm not looking forward to the weather that's going to cause me to use this but working in stables it's almost impossible to see they're very poorly lit generally they don't have any windows generally and you just cast a shadow where you're working so having a headlamp is absolutely imperative so I'm going to enjoy this I hope if, it's anything, if, if the uh, TH20 is anything to go by this is going to be an absolute dream so thanks for watching I'll put all the links in the description where you can get it and it says on the box, just interestingly, if you can see that, if you go to the website you get 5% off, but I've just had a look at the website and these at the moment are actually in their 20% off section, so if you're quick you might get one at 20% off. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you on the next one.